No matter where you travel in the world, everyone has their own unique style of street food. And this spot is bringing the streets of India to Lincoln Park. Prepare to be hacker back it. Oh, if you don't know what that means, just look it up. Whatever. Kashek, our show is viewer driven. And this is our street food episode. So when Jacqueline on Facebook said that Hacka Backer was all about street food, we knew this was the right place to come to. Yes. I grew up in Calcutta. When I moved to Chicago, I was a little disappointed not seeing anything uh, that I was familiar with as far as a Kati Road is concerned. I had a corporate job and I decided, you know, what's the point? You don't necessarily come from a, like a chef background. It's something that comes from within. That being said, after I did quit my job, I actually went to Kendall College and got a, a certificate in culinary arts. Well, I'm gonna have that bit cut out okay. because I like my story much better. <laughs> For me, Indian street food, again, brings back my childhood memories. It is sort of the soul of India, if you ask me. The taste, reminding you of your culture. They know how to put the spices together and you know this is traditional food. This is, I mean, Kolkata street food. For those who aren't familiar with the curry roll, how would you best describe this style of street food all the way from India? I tell them if a burrito were to go to India, it would become a curry roll. I kind of compare it to like a Indian burrito. I think it looks like a burrito, like burritos, but way more flavorful and tasty. What is a good curry roll for us to start and experience together? So our best seller is the chicken tikka curry roll with an egg. Why don't we start with making our tikka marinade, then we'll roll out some bread and uh, we'll actually make the curry roll. Before we can even get to making our curry rolls, we've got to make our marinades. Right, so first we add the yogurt, then we add the ginger paste, then we have the garlic paste. I love garlic. So do Indians. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then, tikka spice. It's a mixture of 10 different spices. It's a okay. secret recipe, we get it custom made for us. This is your passport to India, right there. Time to start stamping our passport. First up, chicken. We need to add this marinade to the chicken. Is that a good heap? That's a great heap. Next up, parantha. Ta-da! That's awesome! Take the bread that you just made and throw it on the grill. My favorite part of a cotton roll is the egg. So, oh. Don't! Don't, don't use that. Right, parantha. <laughs> Chicken tikka is a beautiful thing. So are onions, cucumbers, jalapenos, and cilantro. Now from here on out, there's way too many things for my brain to take in. We have four house-made chutneys, a spicy chili, a tangy cilantro, a sweet tamarind, and a savory yogurt. We do a dash of all four together. I like that. That is a pound of flavor. You know what I'm not gonna try and do? What? Wrap it up. All right, that's what I'm here for. A labor of love has borne fruit. We have born a child together. Yes. Or twins. <laughs> it's almost like a burrito as well. The amount of people who said, it's an Indian burrito, we should have had a dollar count at the bottom of the screen. Now it's the favorite part. Cheers. Cheers. Intricate little spices that only Indian food can put together and combine to one single delightful taste. It's a, a spice journey. What does hakabaka translate to? It actually means astounding. But this curry roll is hakabaka. 